And welcome back everyone. My name is Tyler Bronski. You're watching the T-Bells 5 and 2 YouTube channel, home for your top interviews with professional athletes and celebrities. Today I have a really special guest. This man right here is on the new hit Netflix show Ozark, which is about a financial advisor played by Jason Bateman, who has to relocate his family to the Ozarks in Missouri after his dealings with the drug cartel. Gets him in a little bit of a trouble, would you say, Kevin? Uh, yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> yeah. My guest right here, he plays Sam Dramati, who is a real estate agent in the Ozarks. And again, like I said, played by Mr. Kevin Johnson. Mr. Uh, Kevin Johnson, welcome to the show. And uh, how are you doing today, sir? I'm doing well, man. Thanks for having me, Tyler. Absolutely. Well, I first got to congratulate you on getting this role because this is a big deal. This is uh, maybe one of your breakout roles in your acting career so far. So can you speak on maybe how this role opportunity came about for you and just what the audition process was like for you to get this role? Uh, yeah, sure. Um, so, I mean, I got it through uh, my local agents and, uh, you know, I sent a tape in, felt really good about it. And what was funny is I, I didn't think I booked it at first because I found out from my manager who had uh, talked to the local casting director, and they said, yeah, we're looking for somebody a little older. So I didn't think I booked it. And I was driving to Charlotte for like a, for a callback for a short film. Okay, yeah. And my agent called me, and he was like, hey, they want to book you for uh, Ozark. And I'm just like, what? So, you know, you just never know when this yeah. stuff's going to happen. I mean, it's, it's, it's funny stories like that that always seem to happen to people, you know? Yeah. Acting business crazy, man. <laughs> Definitely. <Yeah. laughs> now, you guys filmed the show mainly in Georgia, different parts of Georgia. Oh, mm -hmm. what was the timeline process like for the filmmaking process? When did you guys start filming for the show, and when did you guys uh, conclude? Um, well, they started in late June, and I think I I got on board around like mid July, and I was off and on uh, from the beginning of. Uh, that point till February mm -hmm. of uh, 2017. Okay. Yeah. So it was, uh, it was about eight nine months, which is quite a while for a yeah. oh, definitely. for a television series. Well, there's definitely a lot of scenes in that show because I know each episode yeah. is like an hour long, which is definitely even a little bit longer than most Netflix shows. So I can yeah. see it taking that long, definitely. Well, um, now, like I said, I watched Ozark, uh, binge watched the whole thing, and uh, definitely a lot of standouts to me in that show. Um, especially by uh, Jason Bateman, who plays the main character, Marty Bird. And what really amazed me, though, is that Jason not only acted in the show, but directed for the 10 episodes in Ozark, the first two and the last two. And I know he was able to direct a couple of the scenes you were in as well. So can you speak on uh, Jason as a director? And maybe uh, would he make you do multiple scene, the scene again, multiple takes, and just uh, any specific tips you remember him giving you and maybe a particular scene in the show? Um, well, the first scene uh, that I ever did was, because uh, I think we did most of the stuff in order, um, mm -hmm. at least on my end. So the very first scene in, in the show for me uh, was really cool, because he's definitely an actor's director. Yeah. And... He's open to improv, so that scene where, you know, Wendy meets me for the first time was a little bit of <laughs> was a little bit of improv. He was like, Yeah, just just have fun with that because you know what it's supposed to look like. I mean, obviously it's not what's happening, but you know, the audience doesn't know that yet. So he's like, Yeah, just kinda just kinda have fun with it and yeah, he was he was totally open to improv and and he's he's a great director, man. He's uh he's got a great vision. Um, so, yeah, I mean, this isn't his first thing he's directed either, so he's done some other stuff, like Bad Words, which is a really good yeah. movie. Definitely recommend that movie for sure. That's awesome. And you spoke on, um, uh, uh, Laura Linney, who plays, uh, Wendy Bird, and you're in a lot of scenes with her, and yeah. working with, uh, Laura Linney and a uh, Jason Bateman, I mean, two very seasoned, high-quality actors, I mean, just being around them, what did you see from them that made you think, man... Wow, that's that's the level I want to get to one day. That's that's what it takes to be that good. Oh man, it was it was pretty uh, like awe inspiring, like just to be around them and being seen with them. And what's really cool is that they're very giving actors. Um, and most of my stuff is with Laura. I mean, we, me and Jason have had a, had a couple scenes uh, 
but uh, most of my stuff is with Laura, and uh, yeah, she's personally she's super sweet, and on set she's such a giving actor and smart as hell, mm-hmm. and just really really cool to work with. Okay. Yeah, most definitely. Now I've been reading a lot of reviews for the show, and a lot of people love the show because of its it's dark, it's heavy, it's got great drama, but also for the beautiful scenery that uh, you guys shoot too for Ozark. Yeah. Uh, when you watched the show personally, what stood out to you uh, when you completed the 10 episodes of Ozark? What were some of your favorite aspects of it? Um, I did love the color palette. I thought that was really cool, the mood that they were trying to set for the show, and it totally, totally hits it. Uh, the, the subtlety, like the, the quietness, the eeriness, um, you know, some of the comedic, you know, there's some dark comedy in there, too. Yeah, uh, and yeah I mean, I, I think it just, uh, the tension kind of builds, you know, which is why it's so binge-worthy, because you want to see the next episode yeah. kind of thing, um, which is why a lot of people binged in, like, one or two days, <laughs> me including. So. Perfect, yeah, <laughs> I definitely agree with that. Now, <laughs> now, a lot of fans want to compare Ozark, though, to Breaking Bad, which was another crime drama television show yeah um do you think it's fair to compare ozark to breaking bad do you think fans should be comparing the two shows i think it's i think it's always good when when you're promoting a show Mm -hmm. to if you can compare it to a show that's hugely popular and possibly one of the greatest shows of all time to a lot of people um they're going to get on board with with ozark uh and I think there is a the comparison between, you know, Brian Cranston and Jason Bateman, who a lot of people see them, you know, as a comedic actor. Sure, yeah. And this is like a dark turn for them. Uh, but also Ozark is its own kind of thing, too, because, you know, Walter White builds up to Breaking Bad. He doesn't start out that way. Yeah. Whereas, whereas Marty, he's already Broken Bad. You know, and the family knows about it. Like you find, like the family finds out about it, like super early in the show. Yeah. Um, Wendy knew about it, and even I was I was kind of surprised that the kids found out about it really early. Okay, yeah. but I thought it I thought it made things a lot more tense too in the household. So yeah, there's I mean, you know, money laundering, <laughs> meth, you know, the 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 CD drug and money world i mean yeah there's a there's a little bit of comparison but also ozark's its own thing for sure sure um you just spoke on how you're surprised when the kids found out about it pretty early on in the show did, how much of the script did you know did you know the whole show when you're recording or what did you find out about stuff when you actually watched the show yourself that you didn't know about uh so i knew some i knew most of the big stuff that happened uh like I wasn't in episode ten, but I got the, I got this the outline, so I knew the, you know, I don't want to ruin it for some people who yeah, haven't watched it, but if you yeah. haven't watched it, what the hell? <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> but like some of the big stuff that happens in episode ten, I was like, okay, yeah, and I was still, I was still like, whoa, yeah. that really happened? They just did that? <laughs> so, gotcha. yeah, I kind of, I knew some of the stuff, but it still like was really cool to see. Yeah, sure. All right, Kevin. Well, just to wrap it up, um, can you speak on maybe some upcoming projects that are coming uh, coming up for you that you're working on? Uh, well, the movie uh, American Made with Tom Cruise will be out September yeah. 29th. Um, so I'm excited to see that. Uh, let's see. I'm working on a movie called Don't Look There uh, mm-hmm. later this year. It's going to be a psychological thriller. Um, can't really talk too much about it yet, but excited about that. Um yeah, I got some stuff uh, that is in post production right now. A couple movies, so awesome. Well, just just grinding away, man. Sure, I like that. Well, definitely look forward to that. And uh, can you just give the fans maybe some social media plugs so they can follow you on Twitter or Instagram? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so uh, my Twitter handle is uh, Kevin underscore L underscore Johnson. Mm-hmm. Uh, my uh, my Instagram is um, the Kevin L Johnson. Kevin L Johnson was taken, okay. so I had to put the. In the gotcha. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. And then uh, fans, you can follow this YouTube channel on TVLS Five One Two. 
by clicking the red subscribe button down below. Also on Facebook at TBL's 5 and 2 Interviews and on Twitter at TyBronski10. And uh, I just want to point out, me and Kevin are both not verified yet on Twitter. So Twitter, I got to get... Yeah. Help I'm working on it, man. I don't know how you're not verified either. You got a ton of followers. Yeah, we you got one or two right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got Twitter. I'm gonna send this to you. You got to help us out, get us verified. So we'll, yeah, let's do that. I like that a lot. Well, Kevin, thanks so much for your time, and uh, we'll look forward to your uh, future projects as well. Hey, thanks, man, Tyler. Appreciate it.